this boom will bring you an album review of Linkin Park's Meteor, which was their second album that they released. And this is the album that songs like Faint, um, Numb, Somewhere I Belong, those songs came from this album. And um, we're just going to go ahead and kick straight into it uh, with Forward. And this song is not even a song. But just straight up. It, it really should not be its own track. It, it's a good build-up to Don't Stay. It, it's a good introduction to Don't Stay. But it is not its own track. It should not be its own track. It should not be listed as, as its own track. And it's kind of dumb that it is. Um, but moving on from forward is Don't Stay, the first actual song. Um, and this is a very, very strong opener. I love the scratching on this track and how well Chester's vocals are done. Uh, it's just really well done. I really love how powerful it is. And the heavy guitars and the harmonies to this track are just amazing. Everything about this track is really good. And that's the case for a lot of these songs. So this is this is a very good album. Um, following Don't Stay is Somewhere I Belong. And this is really well done. I really love this song. Uh, the guitars and how heavy, again, very good introduction type song. Very good. Uh, Mike's rapping is done perfectly, really strong, um, and again, the scratching, just well done, all around, um, and, uh, yeah, um, so, following Somewhere I Belong is Lying From You, and yet again, really well done, the band is really doing really strongly here at the beginning, um, I, the electronic synth, the, um, that thing. Um, I really love that. Um, the heavy guitars, especially in the bridge, when Mike is rapping, really, really brings the song to life. Um, the way that they trade off Mike and Chester in the chorus, really, I, that's one of my favorite things about the album is that they do that several times, and I love that when they do that. Uh, Chester's screaming fits into the song just perfectly. And I think this is my favorite song on the entire album, Lying From You. It's just amazing in every way. Um, next up is Hit The Floor, which is, again, really, really good. They keep getting out all these really good songs. Um, but it's not quite as good as the other ones up to this point. The chorus and the screamer and the rapping, how they trade off, really well done. I really love how they did the chorus. Um, and just in general, how heavy this track is. However, I feel like they went a little bit overboard with the electronic in some areas, especially with Mike's rapping. It didn't really need the level of electronics that it has. Um, I felt like it was a little bit overboard on that regard. But outside of that, Hit the Floor is really well done. I really enjoyed this track. Uh, next up is Easier to Run. And I love this. Tr this track is fucking awesome. Um, this, this is a very strong and melodic track, which is really well, which is really good for this point in the album. Uh, Chester's vocals are just absolutely outstanding, and Mike's rapping, again, outstanding in every way. Um, harmonies are just fantastic on this track, and Hans' scratching is also really well done. I, I'm really, I really love this song. I love this album a lot, actually. One of my favorite albums. Um, Faint is, again, BAM! Just slams you full on after Easier to Run. Um, and, unlike Hit the Floor, uh, the electronics are actually done just right. The electronics are, again, kind of used on Mike's rapping, but they're done perfectly on this track. It, they fit a lot better on this track. And the violin intro that they have, the... Something like that. I don't, I don't know. It was really good. Really love the track. Um, and it's just so fast paced and so heavy, and I just. I love it in every way. I, it's amazing. Um, figure 09. Really well done. Now, you might be wondering why it's called Figure 09. I'll get to that after we review the actual music here. Um, figure 09 is really well done. The heaviness of the guitars, especially in the verses in the bridge, just works perfectly on this track. Um,. My only real complaint with this one, yes, I have a complaint, finally, outside of, uh, hit the floor. Chester's vocals get a little bit repetitive, but the screamer in the bridge is amazing. 
Mike's rapping is amazing. This song's really good. Um, now, you might be wondering why it's called Figure 09. That's because that was the working title that the band had for it, and they couldn't come up with an actual name. I would be freaking out about them by, like, they should have named it Part of Me. Except for the fact that they already have a song called Part of Me on the um, Hybrid Theory EP. Before Hybrid Theory. So they already have a song called Part of Me. So they can't really use that name again. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, figure 09. Breaking the Habit. I swear to God, if you've not heard this song, where you are living under a rock completely. Um, th but this song is fucking awesome in every way. I love this track. Um, the outro, I don't like the outro. Um, but outside of that, this is a very powerful song, very well written lyrically. I love how the instrumental uh, really brings this home, and the electronics really drive the instrumental, which in of itself drives the track. And it's a really, really good track. And I just love this track in every way. Um, but following Breaking the Habit from the inside. And this is kind of where we get back to the easier to run stuff. Um, again, really well done song. Love it with all my heart. Um, this song is very melodic. which I, I really love that those types of songs. Especially in very... I love the really heavy like... Like... Um, I don't know the guitar parts of all of these songs, but like, um, like the very heavy stuff, uh, but I also love the, uh, from the, uh, like the more melodic stuff as well, um, so this album is perfect because it has both of that, um, and the instrumental really drives the lyrics here really well, um, the bridge also gets super, super fucking heavy and turns screamo, which is exactly what this song needed at that point. I love this song in every way. I really, I really do enjoy this song. I enjoy most of these songs. Nobody's listening. It's where things go downhill. Yeah. The, the, the album has a point where it goes downhill. And nobody's listening is where that begins. This would have been a really fucking amazing song. If it wasn't Linkin Park. <laughs> That's your problem. It's Linkin Park. <laughs> they tried to go hip hop here, but they also tried to stick to the whole Meteora style. They shouldn't have really done that. It, it feels like a song that would have been better if they waited on it until Minutes to Midnight. This song did not really turn out the way that they wanted it to, in my opinion. It, it just sounds a bit like too... It, it sounds a bit too cringy and too kind of iffy for this uh, album. Uh, session? No. No, 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 no. The meat of the song is pretty good. They've, they've done better. Cure for the Itch is really is much better. The, but it's not bad. But then there's the intro and the outro. Why the fuck did they just... It sounds like they just took a bunch of random sounds and put them together and said... Yes. What? <laughs> Session was shit. A horrible Cure for the H attempt. They failed. But anyway, it all ends with Numb. And Numb is a very, very strong ending to the album. I love how melodic this track is. It's very well done. Uh, but to me, it kind of feels bland. Even though it's won a Grammy, it feels bland to me. Um, it's just missing that other so that spark that like other songs like Burning in the Skies have. It's just... It's missing those really powerful lyrics. It has those. It has those lyrics, but it, there's better songs that they they've done much better than this before and since. Um, well, not really before, but since they have done a lot better. Um, and this track is just it, it's good, but they could have done better with it. Just the screaming over the melody though at the end, really well done. I really love how they did that part. Um, really well done, uh, and it's a great ending to the album. Um, overall, uh, the album is absolutely outstanding in every way. Um, it gets to be a little weak and repetitive, um, as you get closer and closer to the end, but outside of that, this is a very, very powerful album, very strong, probably better than Hybrid Theory, um, and it is just amazing in every way. Um, so, the, how heavy and dark this album is, and just... Everything about it's awesome. 
In the end, I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars, exactly what I gave Living Things. And that's it for this video. Um, if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, next time we are going to be doing Minutes to Midnight, and then we are done with the Linkin Park stuff. For a good while. Until I release a new album. But yeah, uh, that's it for this video. My name is Blue Emerald, signing off. Good night, everybody.